It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1655, recorded Thursday, December 28th, 2017. Play it again, plant! On this episode of the Gizwiz, we're gonna head aboard Dick's boat to check out a new gadget that he bought for himself. Gizwiz Crime Stoppers is on the scene to check out some weird stuff going on on Amazon.com. And I got some gifts that are perfect gadgets all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the jolliest of the gadget elves, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Doing good? How was the I, uh, holidays? The holidays, the holidays were good. They were quiet. Uh, yeah. Charlie got a couple gifts. See, I don't get, I don't get any gifts on Christmas, <laughs> um, because people say he's the Gizwiz. What could we possibly <laughs> he need get anything. him? Yeah, he he's need bought anything. everything. Yes, and I'm all bundled up today because it's the coldest day of New York, the coldest day of the year in New York, and we have no heat. We have no hot water. Uh, I've been waiting since this morning for the burner repair man. Um, so your your buildings is it a boiler? Is it a burner? It's a <clears throat> it's a it's an oil burner. See, that went I'm out. so new fashion. I don't know. I didn't know those existed. Still, that oil burn is still existed? no. It it was about three years ago that someone was what like, do, yeah, what do you have? Uh, you know, an electric. You know. You know, the the heater is all, you know, just an electric HVAC system. And then um, the hot water heater is just one of the, you know, normal, like, I guess, that's, is that called a boiler? Is it, maybe that's where my confusion is coming from. Uh, do you have, like, one of those instant hot water things that just so makes hot water? So my house now you... does, but, you know, forever it was those big tubes that, uh, you know, a heat, a heater, a water heater that, would be like you know, oh yeah yeah so okay, many gallon yeah. heater and it would just heat it with with uh, you know natural gas propane pain or even electric. Um, I it wasn't until like I started traveling a few years ago that they were like oh yeah the boiler's being worked on. I was like huh like you have an actual boiler like I thought that was like some no, something. <laughs> It was very ignorant of me, I know now, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Well, in New York City, everything is so old that, uh, you know, it wasn't until 20 years ago that we got click-on and off-circuit breakers when they came in and finally took out the fuses. Oh and gosh. the oil burner runs and needs a fuse. And I've been here so many years, I happen to know where the fuse is. And where the spares are, so in case the oil burner blows a fuse, uh, I can replace it. So, wow. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it makes sense. You know, it, it was something just a living and growing up in Texas, you know, there wasn't a lot of heating technology around. And so <laughs> you didn't true. see, you know, I didn't see uh, those radiators, you know, in rooms. It wasn't until I started traveling that I ever saw one of those coil radiator things. Oh, well, that's all we have here. Yeah, I, I, I've never have. seen them, you know? Like, what do you have? It, you have baseboard heat where you are? No, oh, you no. just have an air heater, like where the air oh, conditioning oh, okay. comes out of the wall or the, you know, I've seen homes with the baseboard heaters and stuff like that. Um, but like if you ever needed heat, it's just the where it goes through the normal AC vents. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it was just just a, you know one of those things that you live life and you don't experience something, and and you just go whole, your whole life without realizing that oh that well the the only problem with that is when you wake up and there's no heat, you have to call yourself, <laughs> and then and then you have to fix it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah. There's no uh, <clears throat> the, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do know that there's uh, a few of my friends who have uh, tried to call their apartment complexes and, and had very little luck so uh you never know what you're gonna get um no holidays have basically run their course 
And uh, I, I definitely, I know I have a story to tell you about some of the gadgets uh, and gifts that I got, uh, but we'll wait on that. Um, and, uh, and so we kind of have a, a, the, the last of the holiday-themed episodes uh, here, or episode here on Gizwiz. So, uh, exactly, so exactly. Well, well, my two things are things that, the first one was, you know, at the end of the year, you're supposed to replace the batteries in your smoke detector. And, and I thought, you know what, I don't know how many years I've had my smoke detector. Maybe I should buy a new one. And I started looking for the combo, the uh, carbon monoxide smoke detector. And I go to Amazon and I find, I've never heard of this company. It's called Labon, L-A-B-V-O-N, smoke detector, CO2 detector, a CO detector. There it is, uh, $22.99. I'm, I'm looking five stars. I click on add to cart and then I go back and I go, wait a minute, five stars from back then, there was only 70 people. Now it's 101. So I figured, you know, I should. Sir, the 101 actually, very passionate people about smoke Yes, detectors. exactly. So I thought I better just look at the reviews. So I start looking at the reviews. You could probably just scan through them. And, I, and I'm thinking, this is very strange. They're all. They're all December. They're all very recent. I think the. The oldest one is December 16th. Then I keep reading and look at one review calls it Nest Protect. Now, Nest is one of those devices that I believe they have a new cheap $100 one. But they are talking about, oh, I love this. It interfaces with my phone. <laughs> what? And I'm thinking, what, uh -huh. what is what is going on here? So I go into all reviews and, and when you go to all reviews, you can filter them. And I figure, let's see how many people actually bought this thing. So you filter by and you, you click verified purchases only. And <laughs> sorry, no, no reviews match your current selections. Wait so, a second. Yeah. I, I, so obviously I didn't buy this and I'm thinking what's going on here. There's 110 five star reviews from people who never bought the unit. 11 pages worth of, uh, of reviews. And, and why are all those things about the nest getting in there? It makes me feel like they, they scraped nest reviews and then they use them to make, unique reviews for this product oh, oh, so that they didn't have to be creative in writing up reviews. Yeah, yeah. Nest Protect, excellent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, oh, did you see one? I didn't, I didn't catch it. But yeah, yeah, yes, there was what. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. See, there it is on December 26th. Nest, Nest yeah, Nest Protect. Excellent. So that. <laughs> yeah, the app is, is self-explanatory, and it just works. Yeah, the app. There's no app. Yep. <laughs> also, look at the name of the thing. Smoke detector, smoke alarm clock. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Smoke alarm clock. Oh, yeah, that's what I the do. Only thing, the only thing I recognize is the UL symbol, which I don't think was there the other day. Yeah. But maybe I just missed it. Uh, um, yeah, no, but this is actually a very popular uh, thing to do is uh, you get a fuse, a long fuse, and you light yeah. it when you go to bed. And eventually, it will light a pile of papers that are on fire, that will oh. become on fire. Oh. The other side of the room. It's, that's, that's how you set up a smoke alarm clock. Oh, and then the, mm. the length of the fuse is what time you want to get up? Exactly. And it's very oh, customizable. I, uh yeah. Wow. You know, we should make that. We should start. Uh, cut off here if you want to be woken <laughs> by smoke at 8 o'clock. Right. Cut here for 8.30. Uh-huh. I mean, this uh, all, all started with the very first product, uh, the bacon alarm clock. Oh, you I remember. your oven, yeah. As, and I when remember. the bacon burned, it would wake you up. I remember alarm. the bacon alarm. There were several. There was one that had a 100-watt bulb in it. Oh, and, and, you and this was a, actually a prob, prob, yeah, yeah, yes. product. And you laid a strip of bacon on a tray over the 100-watt bulb. And you would wake up to the wonderful smell of bacon 
cooking. If memory uh, serves correct, it was like a two hundred and fifty dollar product. It was. Oh yes, yes. It was some absurd thing. amount of money. Yeah. Exactly, um, and and part of it was shaped like a pig. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so so anyway, in in doing some research, I found out that. Actually, I found, Smoke. I found a photo of it. Here oh, it there it is! Yeah, the bacon alarm clock. And does it look like a pig? It does. It has a wooden uh, facade that looks very much yes. like a pig. He has pig ears. Are they still selling it? They don't it? sell it anymore. Oh, they don't sell it. Oh, okay. no. Darn it. Okay. Um, yeah, you'll just have to get the smoke alarm clock uh, as a replacement. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so anyway, what I read was that smoke, uh, detectors are good for 10 years, and that since, I think the article said since 2002, every smoke uh, detector has the date it was made on the back. So I looked on mine, and it was made in 2009, so I have another almost two years to replace it. Uh, but either way, I was not going to buy the lab on smoke detector because if they're <clears throat> making up the reviews, how yeah. do I know everything they say about the thing is true? Yeah. Uh, we make I, up the reviews seen... and make up the smoke detecting <laughs> feature of our product. Yeah, exactly. Right. Actually, it's maybe it's just an empty plastic thing that you put a 9-volt battery in and it blinks. I think it is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, um, yeah that is a weird situation and a, uh, a good eye to check it because most people, they just want to see a high review. They're not going to go in and dig into a product and, and do any type of detective work. They're just going to see, oh, it's highly reviewed. Oh, it's inexpensive. So people must like this product. Add it to cart, ship it. You know, go one buy with yeah, one click. Yeah, I, I know. I, but that... It's enough <laughs> research for me. Yeah, except when you get too many, and no one even gave it four stars. Then you begin to think, what is going on here? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's good advice. Is if you see something with a lot of great reviews, just look through a few of them to see if they all look like they were written by the same person, or if they mention things that have nothing to do with what they are supposedly reviewing. Yep, I agree. <clears throat> So now I guess let's jump into some Okay, so got. now, yes, yeah, so this is uh, a neat gadget. Uh, I'll demonstrate it and tell you what I'm using it for. Here we go. Dick D. Bartola, the Gizwiz and Mads Maddest writer at gizwiz.tv on the Hudson River. Okay. We are not fair weather boaters. We boat no matter what the weather is. Unless it's like really cold and damp. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the boat for a reason. See this drop cam up here? This drop cam is so that I can see the back of the boat, the engine back there. And then I came up with what I thought was a great idea. Put a mirror back here, one of those convex mirrors that the camera could see. And then through the camera, I could see the mirror and I could see how much snow was piling up against the wheelhouse. Well, it turned out an eight and a half inch mirror was not good enough. So I decided to get something a little bigger. Oh, look, someone's shooting the video. Okay, so I clicked on, you know, I thought I clicked on 12 inches, but I think I must have clicked on 18. So now the idea here is to mount this here, and just looking in there, I suspect that the camera will have a great view of the entire back of the boat. Now this guy is on Amazon at all different prices. I'm going to cut to the studio uh, when we're finished here and show you. I, I think the lowest was 32 bucks. okay? The interesting thing is in every picture, you see the exact same mirror at all different prices. And if you do buy one, you know, people buying them for driveways. Uh, I saw that people buy them so a woman said she can look out her kitchen window and see if anybody's approaching the house. So they're very useful in this day and age. And when I got it, I thought, this is the worst mirror ever. And then Dennis said, oh, look, there's a little thing there that says, peel off this covering. 
Uh, so when we peeled off the covering, it became a fairly decent mirror. Um, it's acrylic. I guess it's acrylic. Whatever it is, the reviews I read said, don't use glass mirrors outdoors in rough weather because they tend to crack. And the other thing is, if we go for a boat ride and the mirror is up, this is only going to be up in the winter, uh, we would certainly crack. Uh, this guy is... This is all plastic. Uh, so we're just going to find a way to mount it. And then I will end with a shot of how it looks like from my house. I do want to add that it does come with a mounting kit. No directions. At least mine came with no directions. But it came with uh, this. These. These things. Metal and pieces. These things. Oh, nice. Uh, hopefully... Some of these will match up with the four screw holes on the back. Um, okay, I just wanted to add that. Price-wise, you know, I said I bought it on Amazon. I didn't. Take a look at this. There it is. $56.63. I bought mine over at eBay. Now, look at all those pictures. They're all the same mirror. The black one isn't. Uh, but the orange ones, if you go into the description... The descriptions are exactly alike. All the photos are exactly alike. So it's kind of pay what you want. Uh, when I bought mine, the $21 was not available. Uh, I bought mine. I paid 20 uh, here, no, no, no. I guess I paid 24 At the time, that was the lowest price, twenty four eighty nine. And uh, it comes in 18 and 24 inch. I got the 18 inch. I'm home now. Uh, I'm looking at my boat through the drop cam th on a monitor through my LG G6. So it's going through uh, a lot of uh, image resolution deflation. But uh, I'm happy. I can pretty much see I'll go in just a little bit, even though that's going to make it worse for you. I can see the whole back of the wheelhouse. So I'll know exactly how much snow there is uh, if it starts snowing. So mission accomplished. I'm a happy camper. Of course, when I got home, as soon as I came in, it said, camera not connected. But fortunately, it came back. You can see that little buffering circle up there. Uh, Wi-Fi at the marina is not good because uh, uh, it's gone. The camera just went off. <laughs> That's why it's not good, because the docks rock around and wakes destroy the the, the uh, Verizon service going into the boat, and then that really degrades the Wi-Fi. Okay, bye. There's fish. There's fish in your Wi-Fi. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Mm. Uh, so yeah. So uh, a mission accomplished. Seems like. Seems like it's uh, quite fine. They we can actually go to it now and uh, oh, see is it. it is it stayed up? Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Oops, uh, I paused it, unfortunately. Oh, now I'm going to go buy a Nest. <laughs> okay, thanks, Nest. Um, uh, but yeah, that, yeah, it's much better in the daytime. What, what it is, is I have to rearrange it again. I, I have a light in the window because at night I could not see the deck. So uh, I, And I see now that the light is shining in, into the mirror. So I have to readjust the mirror a little bit. Uh, but... During the day, it will be very easy to tell how much snow is piling up against the wheelhouse. And on boats, too much snow starts to push the boat down. And if the boat gets down to where the uh, bilge pumps uh, expel the water, then the bounce around water can start going up those tubes. And then you're, it's, a, it's not a good thing. Yeah. So this way, it's easy to check. <laughs> I just have to go to the marina to see how much snow is in there. But now, as long as the Wi-Fi stays on, I can do it electronically. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a, a funny thing about snow. It's almost like frozen water. It could sink a ship uh, just by being on the top of it. I don't, I don't quite understand yeah. it. Exactly. And, and and there's different versions of snow. Sometimes you go out in the backyard and it's light and fluffy. And sometimes you go out and it's like a, ice cubes, a, yeah. Yeah, some of it falls off the building. You could you could get killed. Yeah. Perfect. So anyway, so shop around and uh the lowest when I looked was uh 
twenty-one dollars. So it might have it might have gone up since then, but it's a lot better than the fifty-five or whatever it was on Amazon. And the pictures in the description, all the pictures of the same mirror. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what they do. They get one mirror, and hundreds of people sell it. Yeah. Uh, and there it is. It looks, oh, I hear voices. I Dennis just got up. It's possible. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, uh, instead of doing a third gadget, you, I have not being the Gizwiz, a few gadgets to show off. So and I, having a huge family, yep. have things to show off. Yep. I I got a gift, and my mother said, take a photo of the wrapping paper. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, fine, sure, I'll take a photo. Turned out not to be that gift, and so that became a joke throughout the whole thing, is every, every package we got, every gift, we had to take a photo of it just in case it ended up being the package that needed to be a photo taken of, and, and it all became clear. This, this is what ended up being the photo that I should have taken uh, of this gift, because when unwrapped underneath, it was the Gizwiz! Uh, and so this was a gift of Gizwiz gadgets that I actually got for Christmas. So all, so I'm going to actually show off all three things that were inside of this gift. Uh, well, wait a minute. These are gadgets that were on the show that no. they decided you should. No, this is oh, th this is my parents be getting creative in their own time oh, finding oh, gadgets. Oh, oh, I see. Finding gadgets thought, for you to show. Yes, okay. that they thought okay. fit the show wonderfully. Oh. And okay. so, and then they bought it for me, which is great. Okay. Well, we will be the judge of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure, the, well, the we'll, chat, we'll, the we'll chat. see, we'll see. So the, the very first decide. gadget is actually an as seen on TV gadget. It's right here. And these are the Garden Genie gloves. The Garden Genie, Garden, oh, say that three times fast. Uh, the Garden Genie. You can't say it once. I can't. Uh, the Garden Genie gloves are made for those people who are just, you know, have that green thumb, which is really good because if you didn't actually have a green thumb, now you can look like you do have a green thumb because the actual gloves are green. Um, there is two separate gloves. One is uh, pretty normal. I mean, this is just a normal garden glove. It has some uh, rubber texture to make sure that you don't get dirt, you know, on your hands or stain your hands. Uh, while working in the garden. But the other glove is specially made to make gardening yes. much easier and to also convince those neighborhood children that you may in fact be a witch because there are spikes on the end of the oh four fingers. The idea is that you would use this glove to dig or push things around and the plastic spikes at the end of the glove would uh, would make it easier to work inside of the garden. Oh my gosh! Yeah, isn't that it's interesting? Spooky. And they're How sewn do on; they don't just slide on and off. No, right? there's no way to get them off. Wow. Yeah, they are they're attached, um, and it's it's you know kind of funny because one your left hand doesn't have them and your right hand does. So if you really need to get you know, dexterous, <laughs> you can, I guess, use your left hand, which for me is my off hand, so that becomes a, kind of a, a problem. <clears throat> but you have some, uh, some nice, wow. ni you know, you can just scratch somebody if they come into your garden that you, uh, that you don't want. Or try Careful to convince when, if you kids. answer your smartphone, you don't scratch your screen. Exactly, exactly. You, you could tap on your, on your screen. <laughs> um, it looks like these, this may be either a review or the actual commercial. Yeah, here's here's the commercial for the as seen on TV segment of uh, the Garden Genie gloves. So let's check this out. Duty yard work can really take a toll on your hands. Planting without gloves can be a dirty job, or worse, you have gloves but they don't protect your hands. Finally, there's Garden Genie gloves, the amazing gardening gloves you can't live without. Watch oh this. my word! Garden Genie lets you easily dig and plant your yard all with. Oh, I love now he's just digging in mulch where the other guy was digging yeah. in and and dirt. Fast and easy. And Garden dirt. Genie's integrated thick resin claws replace handheld tools, <laughs> quickly spread in great topsoil, making yard work fun. 
fun again and hassle-free. Put down garden gravel in seconds and all with just a quick pass of your hand. Garden Impossible with normal gloves. Your hand rake. Quickly clear it, getting the job oh. done in seconds. Oh, a hand rake. Yeah, you can do your leaves. On the toughest jobs. Puncture resistant. They protect your hands from sharp horns and thistles. Garden Genie's flexible ergonomic design makes it easy to pick up even the smallest objects. Garden Genie's simple design and integrated claws can help you cultivate and seed your summer garden. Integrated claws. And all without tools. Look again. Why don't more products have integrated claws? Uh, that's oh that's really Lord. the question that I've been asking myself. While How watching. much are they though? Did he get to the price? Um, so on, you know, I don't think it showed it there. Um, but on uh, just searching online, uh, you can find these for about ten dollars. Ten dollars is a normal price for the oh, okay. garden okay. genie gloves. Uh, well, claws oh, oh, included. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. It looks like this Amazon page has them for a dollar twenty, plus free shipping. What? What? Excuse me. Because here's a whole bunch of others. Oh, this oh, what does it say? $10. It will arrive February 2017. Are they free shipping in stock? Yeah, January 9th to January 12th. This is coming straight from China to you. Uh, the Garden Genie Gloves. Yeah, there's, so there's other ones that uh, are around $10. These happen to be $1.20. Okay. Um, <laughs> so those are the Garden Genie Gloves. And I do like working in the garden. And who knows, maybe these will pass the test. You know, it's good to have another pair around. Sometimes you pull them off, you know, take them off your hands and you leave them somewhere. You can't find them for a week or two. Yeah, just be careful if you try and swat your head with a mosquito. You don't puncture it. <laughs> or shake anyone's hand in the neighborhood. Yeah. They, they might get a little, yeah, freaked out by that. So those are the Garden Genie gloves. Now the next gadget uh, is yeah. kind of in the same vein. And here it is. Let me go ahead and get the, uh, the box for it. Now, if you saw this gadget, what is your immediate idea of, of what it is? We could play a little mini what the heck is it. Uh, I'm gadget. hoping the base lights up. Okay, okay, that's a good, that's a good guess. Very good guess. Okay. Okay. Any, anything else? Uh, does it hold water in the base? It does. It is, it is what it, it, it seems to be, which is a flower pot. But um, do, what are the other features of this flower pot that you might guess? Gosh, let me look in the chat room. Uh, uh, it's an echo with a plant in it. Close. An Amazon echo. Plays music. Is it a speaker? A Bluetooth speaker. Another good guess. Another good guess. But would you guess that this is, in fact, a piano? And I'm not uh, making that up. It okay. is in fact, it does have lights, so you were correct there. It is in fact a Bluetooth speaker, but on top of all of that, this is also a piano. This is called the music, it's music pots. Music pots, plural. Um, can you play the leaves? Yes, you can. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And it also has a built-in battery. So right now this is in pl play mode. So that's the p you would hear the piano. So every time I tap a leaf, whoa, let me set it down here. So every time I tap a leaf, it should play one more key. Now, I think that what most people think of is that each leaf would be a different key. But no, it's but it, not that smart. It's just any tapping it anywhere will will go to the next um, next key. Um, and apparently, holding it in the air will also advance to the next key. You can uh, go to another song. So this is the next song. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, and so it has a few songs built in. Okay, uh, and then you can also turn it into Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. I actually haven't paired my phone yet. I didn't get that far um, in the exciting uh, music pot. Uh, and right now I have basil inside of here. So 
The whole okay. room right now smells like basil that because I've funny. been punching this plant. Um, let's see if we can find the speakers so we can actually try out some music. It's not finding it quite yet. Um, and of course it also has the lights around the base which you can kind of see a little bit. How it actually works is that inside of where you have the plant, there is a large like diode that pokes in through the roots of the plant. I do not want to sync my favorites. Okay, it should be paired. Let me go ahead and tr find some music uh, to play. Um, and so this will uh, use that diode to tell whenever you are touching leaves on the plant itself. Um, and let me see if I can find some music to play. Da, 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 da. Here we go. And hopefully it'll play through the speaker. There we go. This is our music theme, or our letters theme. Oh, and it blinks in unison. Yeah. So it's about what you would expect from um, a pretty inexpensive Bluetooth speaker. Um, it does use a rechargeable battery and it has a micro USB slot on the back. It also came with uh, some micro USB cables, which was kind of interestingly packaged. I need to find them here. Um, it came with this cable and on the end it has a USB-C, a USB, a micro USB and a lightning cable. Wow. Um, it does not come with the power brick, so that power brick's my own. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it was charged before the yeah. show. Um, so it's kind of neat that you, if you had this sitting on your uh, table or whatever, you could uh, plug it in some other stuff to charge while you were charging the micro USB uh, pot, flower pot as well. Oh. Uh, what's, it, what's it? the official name? Music Pots. Now, Music. <laughs> that's what's on the, okay. on the box. But of course, searching on Amazon, it comes up under uh, one of those names that is a oh. sentence long. So it, music, on, yeah, music pot, Bluetooth speaker, blah blah blah. Um, this is the official name is Smart Music Flower Pot Wireless Bluetooth Speaker Finger Touch Plant Piano Music Playing, and rechargeable LED. Colorful Wait a minute, light. they're all five star reviews. Uh -oh. I am instantly oh, no. suspicious. Oh no. Um this these actually look like real reviews, actually. And there's only four of them, so oh, that's okay. another okay. good okay. indication. Right. Um I couldn't I haven't found anything wrong with it. Right? No, I mean, I it, mean first of all, I thought it was gonna be like at least 30 bucks. Yeah, $16.99 is the price yeah. currently on Amazon. So uh not too bad. And it doesn't also. It also doesn't, you know, look all that bad. It doesn't look ch too cheesy. No, um, no, a absolutely. Cheesy. Just fine. <laughs> My poor basil plant is, has taken a beating, though. I wasn't very kind to it. <laughs> So, and that is uh, two of the gadgets that my uh, family gave to me. Uh, and the next one is going to be in my crappy corner. So Music Pots, $16.99. You can play a piano with it. Might be a little fun to, uh, to show um, kids or someone who come over. Um, I, I think the thing is to just have it on the windowsill and just say, oh, you know, I'm baking. You want to get me a piece of basil? <laughs> And she made a reaction, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. I don't. I'm actually not sure how many songs are in it. That's actually one thing that I I never uh, was able to find out. And of course, the instructions okay. are as detailed oh, yeah. and as uh, <laughs> wonderful as you you probably expect. Um, and uh, so I never actually found out exactly how many songs are inside of the magic music pot. There we go, okay, so. A Twisted Echo says it, it, it is the completely legal pot party. 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, there are little silicon caps over where you would plug in the micro USB cable. So oh. uh, it should be okay with a small amount of water. Um, and so, in, and of course it's rechargeable, so you, you would probably wouldn't water it while it's plugged into the wall uh, is, uh, is the idea. Okay, with that, I think it is time. Over to, ladies and gentlemen, the no, final no, of the year. Oh, wait, it's not over here. It's over here. <laughs> Get it. Okay, so the very last stocking stuffer gadget of December. And, uh, of course, we have our official stocking. This is the size of a stocking. It's, it was stuffed inside. Worked just great. And this is another gadget that uh, my parents uh, gave me as a gift. And it is the Spiralin? The Spiralin? <laughs> Sp spiralin? Spiralin? Oh, Spiralin, I guess. Spiralin. Yeah, spiralin. It is a device that is used to make vegetable flowers. So uh, here's- oh, It goes here's, perfect with your pot. Yeah, exactly. I got all sorts we of food, uh, you know, food and garden gadgets. I should use the gloves to work a carrot into growing and then make it into flowers, uh, basically. Um, so this is this is the whole whole device. This is it's just this plastic uh, thing with some blades on it, and the instructions are just on the box. There was no other paper inside of the box. It looks like what you do is you scrape the, okay, here we go. So here, I have some, I have some carrots here, some fresh, okay. fresh made carrots. So we're gonna kind of do this live. It looks like the first step is to get an edge on your carrot. So we want to use this scraping side that has these sort of jagged oh, teeth okay. Yep. Okay. in okay. order to create a, an edge that would uh, look pretty good. I'm also gonna break that in half there. Um, and so I'm gonna just grab this, make sure I'm kind of on the right side. Yeah, it looks like I am. Careful, you should put on your gardening gloves so you don't cut yourself. <laughs> I should. Okay. There we go. You know, you could just spiralize that with the glove with the spikes on it. <laughs> That's all I, I mean, really all these little uh, things I'm creating are, are exactly, I could use the glove the whole time. Okay, I've made a few grooves, I think. Whoa, took off a bigger chunk of carrot than I was expecting. And now we take this and shove it into here and then twist. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I see. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> I'm getting a sharper and sharper <laughs> I was just, I carrot. Just, it's a carrot sharpener. It is. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to remove old carrot from the blade without using, you know, cutting myself. Okay. Get out of there. I'm trying to really understand it. So, you know, you have the... <laughs> this in no way is making the fantastic looking spiral that is on the front of this. Oh, oh my God. You know, this looks just amazing. But um, I can tell you that so far, uh, I just <laughs> kind of have carrot bits all over the place. This, this right here is the best that I was able to produce. Um, and that, uh, it's not, it's not quite where we want it to be. Looks like Bart Simpson's hair. <laughs> um, okay, here, I'm gonna, just going to try, try to go in the opposite way. No, okay, I was, was, was trying to see if we could get, ah, uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi. Uh, dinner's going to be a little late, guess. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like a beautiful flower. <laughs> there you go. That, oh, and, oh, uh, man. It uh, looks like shrimp. Yeah, it, this is, um, okay. Uh, not, not, not that great. It also doesn't quite 
take off the end of the carrot so it's like yeah no. oh my gosh it's not quite that would have been a better what the heck is it than a spiral in lies or oh whatever it is gosh yeah what the heck is this is that a carrot no i don't think so um okay well i'm not sure that this is a a tool that is going to be ever used by <laughs> professionals um, in any capacity. Just, just the professional who made that box uh, photo. Yeah, who was able to, yeah, to, to Photoshop whatever this is. They must be using like a potato or something. That looked like a carrot. It does look like a carrot. So that's why I went out and bought a carrot. But maybe it's some other device that is um, uh, not quite as difficult or like is... And of course, no... no um, instructions. Okay, I, I might be getting it. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing the carrot to the bottom of the device, and it has made a much better spiral than it ever has before. So we have actually a, uh, a spiral. Like, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just making it back into a carrot here. This is not really a flower of any sort. There you go. Is that is that a flower? Is that not, a flower? You know, it's not bad. It's not I bad. I mean, I wouldn't go through the effort, Whoops. but that's that's yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, we kind of did it. Um, so uh, I actually okay. So let me let me show you what I found online. And remember, okay. these are all gifts, so I don't have the the exactly what uh, uh, they ended up getting for me. Um, but I do have an option, and this is from a website. I actually don't. I have never heard of this website before. But here it is: uh, two dollars oh. to six twenty dollars. Six dollars and twenty cents. Sorry, not twenty dollars. Um, is a carrot, uh, this, the spiral, spiralin, spiralin? That sounds like- Spiralin. Spiralin. Sounds like some toy that uh, didn't quite make it to market. Um, uh, the uh, uh, fruits and vegetable kitchen gadget to create household vegetable peeler, carrot, spiral cutter, something. Um, there you go. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know about this one. It may be, uh, yeah, user it's like error. A lot of effort. It is a lot of effort. It, and I'm tr I'm really trying. I'm I haven't cut off the sides of this one. I'm just seeing can I spiral it, and it just doesn't seem that uh, that real solid. You know, I would save that for when you start losing your hair. You could do that to carrots and just put it on the top of your head. Get some keratin on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah there um, you go. It does. It does make sharp carrots. So if you're ever in a situation. Yeah. You know, like you're, you're, you need to defend yourself. You need a really sharp carrot. Uh, there you go. Or okay. you lose your, uh, something to write on your tablet with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is, I'm the sure this is capacitive. Stylus. Yeah, it's, that's all they need to do. Rebrand. They need to pivot like any good uh, tech company does. Uh, this is definitely a piece of crap, uh, is what I'll, I will give it. Uh, good job. Uh, thank you so much to my parents, my mom and dad, for finding these gadgets and uh, letting us do oh, yeah, them here. They were right in the ballpark of stuff we would use. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, they know the show. They definitely, they, <laughs> they've definitely gotten that down. Um, also, did we get a letter? It looks like there's a uh, uh, someone who said... Here's a kit to follow up on the detector kit. Oh, yeah. No, I, I found that. I was looking for the kit. Remember last week you got the lie detector kit? Right. And you assembled it and suddenly found out that you that there was soldering. You solder involved. the whole thing, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so I was looking for the kit you had, and I saw this. And I think your kit was 12 bucks. It's 1295 Well, I found this on Amazon for fourteen ninety nine, and it says assembled. There you go. And then no, no and, soldering required. And four LEDs instead of two. Oh, my gosh. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. And, then, and of course, it's just, uh, it's just for fun. I doubt that this will it's actually ever. It's just fun. <laughs> yes. I don't the think CIA the will ever not use this in a uh, public hearing <laughs> yeah. or a private hearing. No. Um, the police department uses the $30 one, the pro. <laughs> 
<laughs> they, they have to solder themselves. They get professionals yes, exactly. to solder. Exactly. 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 Uh, okay, cool. So there, and that's that. Uh, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. Foghorn. Our viewer video is from Arliss Duncan. Um, hi, Dick and Chad. I thought you might like to see a gadget that led to my career in video production. Whoa. It was my first camera from 1979. And though it quit working many years ago, I still hang on to it. I do make a short, candid appearance in this video, but it's me in 1979. So, Alice, let's see your ancient gadget. Here is some of the last remaining footage from my very first professional video camera. And here it is, the Sony Video Corder. It's a beautiful camera. It's very light for its time and small. It used to have a shoulder rest so you could put it on your shoulder to carry it. And look at that beautiful lens. It had a zoom lens. It was really pretty small. And look, it had a one inch video monitor inside. Whoa, that's and big. And a microphone on the front. Boy, it's still small but though. Here's the catch. It was so light uh, and easy to handle. However, it only captured the picture. It didn't record the video. <laughs> you had to follow this long cord. Yep. Yep. And here it is. Oh, video okay. <laughs> this was an incredible piece of technology for its time because it ran on battery and you could go out into the field and shoot video. Of course, it was only black and white. And to load the tape, you had to know how to load a reel-to-reel -reel machine. Wow. wow. This is the tape we used. It's half-inch videotape. Actually, the same thing that happened, ended up in the VHS boxes. But in this case, we've had, had it on a reel. That is incredible. Okay, to load it, you had to thread the machine. Fortunately for us, there's a threading diagram right here. So we probably could still thread it. Though it no longer seems to work. The Sony Video Quarter, it's truly portable. Look at that. It has a handle so you can carry it. <laughs> uh, they couldn't have put a... a a and strap on, the front on it are the controls and with earphone and a microphone input it was truly professional and look it even had a carrying case so you could put it over wow your oh, there, there you go, go. There that's, that's what i needed yeah. yeah i bought my sony video quarter in 1979 and i bought it used and it cost me almost five thousand dollars oh it did lead to a career in video production <laughs> This was the first video camera most of us had ever seen. We spent a lot of time videotaping ourselves because it was such a unique experience. That is so cool. Holy cow. That is very cool. That is so $5, cool. $5,000 yeah. used. Yeah. I, I, had a I had a small suspicion that there was going to be another element to it because <laughs> I remember learning in film class that there's a difference between a camcorder and a camera and, you know, a VCR type thing. And so when uh, you were saying that, I was like, I wonder if there's a separate piece that records yes, yes. the video. Oh, I had man. the RCA camera that also came with that big pack that you carried. And... Uh, I went to the warehouse and I found my own box oh, of wow. reel to reel videotape. Wow. Oh and my this gosh. says on it to tell the truth. So Goodson Todman recorded all their shows on those Sony machines. And uh, tape was so expensive. The reason so few uh, game shows from the early uh, 60s 
and 70s. Um, I forgot when the first Sony came out, maybe in the 70s. Uh, tape was about $50 a roll or a reel. So they would keep the shows for a few months and then erase them because they didn't want to spend money for all that tape. Um, but what they would do is before they erased them, you would they would send a list around going next week we are racing to tell the truth numbers so and so match game numbers so and so to tell uh what's my line sh shows number if you're on them or your friends are on them please come to the tape room and take them now or they'll be erased so uh it is amazing but five thousand bucks whoa yeah yeah, yeah definitely um and, and black and white yeah, exactly. Like it's, yeah. Are you happy with that? Uh, I did a little <laughs> online calculator uh, also, just to see what it, what would the value of five thousand dollars in nineteen? Today? I chose nineteen seventy four. Be in two thousand seventeen, and uh, the online calculator said that that would be twenty six thousand dollars <laughs> in twenty seventeen. <laughs> Dollars. I hope I did all that conversion correctly, or this this is true, or maybe <laughs> just whoa, holy cow! Whatever it is, it's a lot. And now, with your cell phone, yeah, you get results five thousand times better. Yeah, yeah, it, isn't it that is crazy? Amazing. You not amazing. only can record the video and the audio and it's in color. And it's about, you know, 17 time, you know, fold increase in resolution. But you can edit it on the same device and publish it to the internet, a worldwide distribution platform for free. You know, yes, whatever yes. the cost and of the... those tapes for only an hour. <laughs> Yeah. Now, the portable one that she was using, I believe that was the 5-inch reel. I think that was just good for 30 minutes. And then the bigger reel that I showed, does it say on the box? Let me just see the box for a minute. Um, no, it, the, uh, the V32. Maybe this was a... <laughs> uh, these are the hour tapes. The big ones were the hour tapes. I think she had a half-hour tape. But Arliss, that, that is just great. And this is the kind of thing we're talking yeah. about is that people have gadgets even if they don't work they can't part with them <laughs> uh when you spend five thousand dollars for something even if it doesn't work i think you have to hold on to it just to say look at this look at how far we've come look at how much i spent back then um anyway thank you that was a great video arliss and uh, Arliss also said, Dick, thanks for the picture and the Mad Magazine. She sent this video in uh, in November. I, everybody sent in a video. I, I wanted to get some Mad Magazines out before Mad closed, and I was able to do that. But if you want to submit um, a video to us, you'll still get an Alfred e. Newman picture and something else I'll throw in there from Mad Magazine. I'm not sure what it is uh, until I unpack all the stuff I took home from the office. Uh, so a two to three minute video, anything that involves a gadget, but we love old fashioned gadgets, uh, make a video, put it on YouTube, on YouTube. When you click download, you can, uh, uh, click on the drop down menu, click unlisted. If you don't want strangers to, uh, stumble upon it and send the URL to us at Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And Arliss's may have been uh, the last video that we have to show. Next two weeks, we're doing a special show, so we don't need videos. But we do need videos for 2018. And if you live in the U.S., you'll get an Alfred E. Newman picture and something else mad. If you live anywhere, anywhere in the world, I'll autograph a picture, scan it send you a high-res image, you can frame it, and no one will be the wiser. Perfect. Man, and Perfect. that was a very well-produced video. They don't have to be that well-produced. We thank Arliss for making it so nice, but yes. just use that phone that you have. It's easy to Yeah, 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 stuff. exactly. Exactly, yeah, and, and horizontal, horizontal. Horizontal, yeah, not vertical. None of, none of that. We're not 
HQ. We're yeah. a very high end show. <laughs> exactly. Here. Exactly. We don't, we don't want your things up and down. We want your things that way. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. There uh-huh. you go. There uh-huh. you go. Uh-huh. There you go. Uh, with that, let's move on to the letter. And Donna Grisbaum, G-R-I-E-S-B-A-U-M. Hi, Dick and Chad. I finally found a crazy cost comparison on Amazon like you like to show on the Gizwiz. She sent a link there to uh, the page that she's talking about. Oh, let me grab uh, yep. that. Okay. It'll be just a and bit. It's for a, I happen to know what this stuff is because I used it on the houseboat. It is an RV uh, treatment for the toilets. It breaks the stuff down and makes the head or there, is bathroom a- shelter. There you go. There you go. All right. So it's $14.99 for 32 ounces. Right. Okay. So I did the math. Go down a little further. Go down to the big one, the gallon. Okay. Or is, there we are. Oh, they, they, okay. Hundred and nine dollars. What? For one hundred and twenty twenty eight ounces. So I did the math. Uh, Twelve thirty two ounces is roughly fifteen. Sixty four is roughly thirty. One hundred and twenty eight should be sixty. So when you buy the jumbo size, you pay a lot more. A hundred and nine. <laughs> Dollars. Yeah. And, and you know what? This is very funny. Uh, the, the, uh, I put another link there. Normally, Amazon, when they do something like this, they actually put the per ounce price. So you don't have to sit there with a pad and pencil and go, wait a minute. The big size is twice the size of the little ones. Uh, on this thing, they did not put. On this smoke detector, notice it's twenty two ninety nine or... $30 and 65 cents a pound. <laughs> That's how I like to buy my smoke detectors. Yeah, I know. I put it on the pound. Facebook. Yeah. I, I put it on Facebook. I said, I only have a two and a half room apartment. I'm thinking 12 ounces should yeah. be enough. That's all I uh, need. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yes. Uh, right. Oh my gosh. You know, there's only a few things that I buy by the pound. And uh, most of them are electronics. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that and webcams, uh, and <laughs> golly, that's, very, that's hilarious. That's, that's very that's hilarious. That's funny, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So, Donna, thank you. <laughs> and I buy my ground meat by the cow. Uh, that's how <laughs> I tend to buy that, too. Yeah, half cow. Half cow. I'd like a half cow yeah. of ground meat. Thank you very much. Um, that is hilarious, and, you know, it, it really does help if you are slightly more picky than the average shopper. If you spend just a itty bit, itty bit more time going, let me let me search for a deal. Let me see if if you know what these people are uh, offering on Amazon is uh, is correct and, and worthwhile. Yeah, every once in a while there there is something there. I did that that uh, rubber stamp that you could run over things that you didn't want people to be able to read. And it was, I think, twelve dollars. I think it's cheaper now. And then I bought a separate bottle of ink. And then I, I didn't look all the way down to the bottom because there was a deal where you would buy the thing, buy three special nozzle things to refill it for just a couple bucks more. And so that's another reason to check down to see if there are combo deals or anything like that. So it does pay off to search. I, I, st- will, I will now, every time before I add something to the cart, I will make sure that there isn't a coupon like you noticed for that backpack that the, was that, the, the, buy, <laughs> buy one, get 15% off. And it was like, yes, yeah, so originally huh? it was 30. Uh-huh. Now it's 15%. And I'm, I kept looking at it. Buy one, get, why don't they just say 15%? Yeah. And, and I said, you know what? I had to put this in my cart. So I put it in the cart. It was 40 bucks. And then I put that coupon in and it said, okay, how about $29? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, All right. Okay. Huh, okay. This yeah, feels, it's very, something it's feels very off funny. about this situation. Funny. But whatever. They're basically like, do you want to buy it for 29 Or if you're a really fast shopper, 
how about you buy it for 35? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. okay, well, fine, whatever. Yeah. Um, but we know the people who watch Gizwiz are very particular and very direct. And well, also, not that particular. They're yeah. not particular about what they watch, but they no. are particular about, about how what they, they buy. Exactly. What they buy. And also uh, who they support. And we want to give a big thank you to our Patreon supporters uh, over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, we don't have a what the heck is it yet. We will starting next month. January 1st. Yeah. January 1st. So uh, don't, don't think that I'm forgetting about what the heck is it yet. Uh, big, but I want to uh, bring that right back around is that the uh, patron supporters are a huge part of the reason why we can make Gizwiz. So thank you so much for your support of our Patreon. Uh, also, some people uh, don't want to give over Patreon. Uh, we do have a way to donate via PayPal, even recurring payments over PayPal at our website, gizwiz.tv. Click the Patreon banner right underneath that is a PayPal link. Um, thank, uh, also you can watch our show live every Thursday and next week we will have a special recording of, uh, two episodes, our best and worst episodes of, uh, 2017 as we are going to CES in Las Vegas, uh, the next week. Yeah. So it'll be a, a lot of fun. So, uh, come check out, uh, the show. 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time to watch the show live. Gizwiz.tv is where you can catch the live stream and join the chat room and also subscribe and catch all of our previous episodes there. Gizwiz.biz is Dick's site where he writes up articles about every gadget that we cover. Links uh, back to the gadget and uh, also some of the events that he goes to. Uh, so you can find all that at Gizwiz.biz. That about wraps now, up. Now, a quick question. Do yeah. you want to celebrate New Year's Eve oh, uh, yeah. on the stream? Yes. Let me. I think that we can. Uh, we, we could do it at 11, uh, 11 your time to it'll be midnight here. Uh, and then if, if and then if you want, uh, I can come back at 1 a.m. my time, which will be midnight there. Yeah, let's do it. You want to do, do that? It. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, so, so look forward to that. Okay, yeah, so New Year's Eve, look for us around 11.45 New York time, which is 8.45 California time. Figure it out. It's a, a quarter to 12 New York time, and we'll, we'll bring in the new year here, and then we'll meet up again an hour later and welcome in the new year uh, in Texas, right? It's only 7.30 out there right now, is that right? Right, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. And then, as Chad said, we're off to uh, CES. Chad, I got – this is what we have to look forward to. I got a, a press release early today about the new Cloud White Smart, to smart Toothbrush with oh. motion-sensing tooth-to-tooth <laughs> navigation. I've always needed a GPS device for my mouth. Right. Uh, Brush, know, just... Brushing habits are recorded and sent to the cloud for analysis. I've always thought, you know, <laughs> I, I navigate the streets. Why don't I navigate my teeth? Yeah. And users will receive reports recommending which tooth surfaces have not been brushed properly. This makes me feel great because, you know, I name every tooth individually i give each i was just gonna, i was just gonna so much time individual time i can't yeah. I, it would break my heart if i knew that i wasn't brushing a single tooth I more or less it, than the others yeah i am starting to name my teeth so when they say murray needs more brushing i'll know what they're talking yeah. about because i don't i don't want i'm sure a dentist has a name for all 32 of them <laughs> but i just <laughs> And I the mean, good news is, is that, you know, after you've been using this product for a year or two, you can bring it to the dentist and show him all of your stats and all the recordings about each individual tooth, and he'll think you're crazy. It's great. Yes, it's great. it also says, if you want, we will send all this data also <laughs> to your dentist. So he can delete it for you. That's great. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> That's very funny. 
That's very funny. But I, mean, I still want to see it. I, I still want to uh, know. Like, I want to see that. I want to go, uh, and I want to see that. <clears throat> That's oh very funny. God. I know. It's very funny. Uh, anyway, so we'll see you New Year's Eve, or we'll see you here next week on The Giz Wiz. Wait, I'm not ending it. You do it. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be here. Oh, yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> now, we'll, we'll be back at gizwiz.tv on New Year's Eve, so please head on over to gizwiz.tv when the New York ball drops. That's when we'll be live, and uh, then uh, we will see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>